What's up guys, I'm Jeff Montgomery and welcome to Tax Planning on the Whiteboard. If you like what you hear, please hit subscribe. Today we are going to talk about tax planning for highly appreciated assets. If you're planning to sell assets such as stocks or real estate or business interest, you should consider the tax implications at sale very carefully. Quick disclaimer, please, this is not specific information to anyone watching the video. Make sure you talk to your tax professional or your financial professional. Your circumstance is most likely completely unique. So now, without any further delay, let's go to tax planning on the whiteboard. Selling highly appreciated assets can result in significant capital gains taxes, but with proper planning, you may be able to minimize that tax liability and maximize your net proceeds from the sale. Let's explore some tax planning strategies you can all use. Strategy number one, charitable contributions. If you are charitably inclined, one tax planning strategy for highly appreciated assets is to no donate them to charity. By doing this, you may receive a tax deduction for the fair market value of the asset and avoid paying capital gains taxes on the appreciation. Charitable giving can be a great way to support your favorite cause while reducing your tax liability. Quick tip though, deductions for charitable contributions generally can't be more than 60% of your adjusted gross income and in some cases 20%, 30% or even 50% limits may apply. Number two, installment sales. Another strategy for tax planning is to structure the sale as an installment sale. And just as the name sounds, you would be receiving payments from the sale in installments. This strategy is especially useful for highly appreciated assets that have a very large gain because this allows you to defer the capital gains tax over time, potentially reducing your tax liability. Strategy number three, 1031 exchange. A 1031 exchange is a tax deferred exchange of one investment property for another investment property. This strategy allows you to defer paying capital gains taxes on the sale of your highly appreciated asset by reinvesting the proceeds into a similar asset. It's particularly useful for real estate investors who want to exchange property for another while avoiding capital gains taxes. Strategy number four, capital loss harvesting. Capital loss harvesting is a tax planning strategy that involves selling assets that have lost value to offset gains of the sale of highly appreciated assets. By selling those assets that have decreased in value, you may be able to offset the gains from the sale of highly appreciated assets which could reduce your overall tax liability. Just a quick tip, beware of the wash sale rule. This is a IRS rule that prevents the loss being taken on the sale of a security if that same security or a substantially identical one is then bought within the same 30 day period. So be careful with the wash sale rule. These are just a few tax planning strategies you can use when selling highly appreciated assets. Work with your tax professional to explore these and other tax savings ideas. By implementing these strategies, you could minimize your tax liability and maximize the net proceeds on the sale of highly appreciated assets. Thanks for watching and keep a lookout for more tax planning on the whiteboard videos coming your way. Thank you.